You knew that. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Uh, so, you know, before I came out here, my roommate was asking me, like, dude, this is pretty huge. Like, uh, what look do you want to go for? Do you want to go for, like, the Justin Bieber or the Ellen DeGeneres? I went, both. <laughs> so, uh, no, this is great, man. I, uh, I gotta tell you guys a bit about my backstory. Um, so I joined the army right after high school and I got injured. Uh, and, and now I was on crutches for three years and it's all just, a, with the nerve endings, it's just a mess, just all everywhere. And so over at the Iowa City VA, that's where the battery was installed. Um, they were wheeling me into the OR. This battery would like confuse all the nerves. And so now that's the only reason why I'm able to walk. They reel me into the OR. There's six doctors around me, and the first thing I said after the surgery was, I got to find John Connor! Get down! <laughs> <laughs> they all lost it. Oh, uh, well, man, it's great. You know, I, uh, I have a remote control, and uh, I, have, uh, I have this belt that I have to wear to plug myself into a wall once a week to, like, recharge. The thing is, I'm a grown man. The, car the cord is only three feet long. I feel like I'm in timeout. <laughs> oh, shoot. You know, there was, a, there was a little bit of talk about how amputation was an option, and I was like, huh, huh, uh, uh, awesome! So, I have a few friends that are biomechanic engineers, so I could have had like a variety of legs. Would I have had one that would dispense nachos? Pfft, yeah. <laughs> No, but uh, or maybe one with like a flask built into it, like I could pop off the toe and start having a good time. <laughs> you know, I want to be that old guy at my grandkids' soccer game. Here you go, Billy. His name is Steven. Yeah, that one. <laughs> <sighs> I love being a cyborg, um, but you know, every perk has its cons. There was one show I did. Uh, I talk about this a lot with the whole battery thing. I had this one show, this lady came up uh, afterwards, and she goes, Hey, if you is a cyborg, can you understand me? Beep, boop, bop, be doop. And I'm like, that's mildly racist. <laughs> I'm offended, madam. <laughs> oh, but I've been taking crap for decades now. Like, I'm 6'4". I reached this height in high school. Like, 50% of the high school didn't even reach my belt line. So every day was, wow, you're so tall. Did you know that? Did, did you play basketball? I was like, yeah, I'm the spare hoop. <laughs> Man, it was just like everybody else. I mean, like, I didn't really learn anything from high school, but it was like everything I did afterwards is where I gained all my knowledge. Uh, on the internet, it showed, uh, what, like, it's weird how babies have more bones in their bodies than adults. Uh, the red crayon tastes the best out of the whole box. Um, <laughs> and, uh, what was it? Oh, and there was a story about in Chicago, there was this church that was really concerned about, uh, filling their pews with people, so they're like, Let's let's stick a McDonald's in it. Like, can you imagine? <laughs> Some days we have McMass, aka Feast for Jesus. <laughs> I just imagine Father Bob at the pews of like Body of Christ. You want fries with that blessing? <laughs> I'm really nervous about saying this next joke because my parents are in the crowd. I've learned some pretty disgusting things. It's not, it's not that bad. But I learned that there are some things that if a woman eats it, it would change the taste of her <laughs> lady parts. <laughs> I know it's weird. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> I can just imagine a guy going down on his girlfriend, and she goes, Mmm, baby, how does it taste? And he goes, I kind of want a Whopper now. <laughs> That's it. That's the last of my disgusting... Mom, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. 
I still love you, Mom! <laughs> I guess we're going to Burger King. <laughs> Shoot. Another thing I learned is that obesity, this is pretty scary, obesity is the number one killer in America. You know, you see a bunch of young fat guys with beards, I think that's a politically incorrect term. I like to call them Santa Clauses in training. <laughs> young fat women with beards, I like to call my ex-girlfriends. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.